The devastation here is unbelievable. And we all, you can't imagine what it's like here. There's these people that are living in conditions that we can't even imagine. So to see children and circumstances at home that we would never have put, you know, we would never put them in. Whether You're just seeing this man with one arm who is fat because he was malnutritioned. They are living with nothing. They don't have running water. They don't have food. They're asking for food. They're desperate people. One night we went past the Capitol building. As we're going by, all these merchants are out front and they're trying to sell this stuff and they see us looking at the Capitol and they say, they, they call it the Devil's House. However, I was saddened by the children on the street and how sometimes they're all by themselves. And this woman came over with her baby and uh, the baby's hair had turned red. And uh, that means that the baby is malnourished. And, and she said to me in, in very broken English, and she just said, I need food for my baby. This trip to Haiti reminded me so much of how fragile life is. You know, we never know from moment to moment how much longer God's going to give us. But the Haitian people remind us of the joy that we share with each other. The love and the people here that they express to each other and to outsiders such as ourselves from the team is unbelievable, indescribable. When we first got here, I was so impressed by Pastor Dave, how he said right away this was our church. His church was our church. The kindness has just been incredible. And there's always a big smile every time you say bonjour or bonsoir. That to me was just incredible. In spite of the impoverishment, they're still thankful and they still have hearts for the Lord. And walking through the courtyard here on the compound and hearing them sing in the church and lift their voices to the Lord, um, they're still thankful in every situation. And um, I wish we could take that a bit, a bit of that home, that you know our joy isn't dictated by our circumstances. People are living in the tent on the side of the street, and yet they're laughing and they're having fun and they're spending time together and just seeing that love. The one thing that the Lord has taught me on this trip is just to have a heart for people. God's working in mysterious ways, but uh, I think He definitely has a purpose for Him. I kept thinking to myself the next day, I'm only one person, I'm only one person. And God said, yes you are, but I'm so much bigger than this. And this is my city, and these are my people. But more importantly, just to see that God has not given up on the Haitian people. And perhaps from this earthquake, um, yes, it's devastation, but maybe God has decided to rebuild Haiti from the foundation, the very foundation of it. As all Haitians say in closing, bonjour, bénéu. God bless you, and thanks so much for being with us on this journey.